KNT. He's uh, gonna try to run the uh, the line from there. He's saying that uh, this looks like someone already ran a fiber up here already. Was on the pole, but uh, on the hard part is my house is a jungle here, so he got it's on, kind of on the neighbor side. So he will have to figure a way to climb up that pole, run his fiber optic line this way back to my house. So this is where the Comcast line right here is. You probably won't see it, but that tiny little white light, uh, uh, glass um, tubing in the center, that is the where you get the data from. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put it down here. It's gonna look like this. They, it's just the middle part of that wire that they need. And under there is a glass like tubing or a fiber optic, right? And they coil up into here. And now it's gonna go back out here into the house. And here's all the fancy tool they have. This thing uh, measure and cut that uh, line out for them. That's on the side of the house. Originally, I want this higher, but they say it's easy for them to come out and service if it's eye, um, eye level, so they don't have to climb on ladder. And this is a checkpoint where if you have a problem, they come out and check this box so they don't have to climb on that pole over there. And it's being run here side by side with my original um, cable line. All right, it's, it's coming together. This is how it's gonna look. All right, and this is how it looks on the outside. The Ethernet cable is going to come down into this the same hole, into that white box. And then it's running along the side and into the attic. And it's going to run to the other side of the living room where my uh, the router is going to be. Alright, this is how it looks so far. And there's a cover for this. Here's your 5 octet line. It's a very thin little wire. Or, and then here's your Ethernet cable. And then this is going to run to the uh, router. In this corner is where that uh, Ethernet cable is run down from the attic and uh, into the new modem here. This is my old modem, which is my, with Comcast. I have a wireless AC uh, router here. This thing, there's no, no external antenna and there is no, um, it's, it, it's not a wireless AC, it's a wireless uh, N, uh, BGN. So, the wireless is not going to be as great as the one I have here, but to use this with this, I got to figure, I got to look into the setting. I haven't messed with that yet, uh, but the speed right now, just the wireless speed alone on my iPhone and the iPad is about 300, um, 300 something, 360. Upload is about 400, but I wonder on the wireless AC, is it going to be better? So it's something I have to test. So uh, if you guys can chime in, you think, because all my cable are Cat6. But since this guy came here and he ran Cat um, 5E, which is supposed to be do the job because it was a short run, but I'm not sure would it matter. So I'm gonna, I have to test it just to, just so I can feel better. So I'm gonna run in a Cat 6 from that box over to see if it make any difference. All right, I just um, unplugged the Cat 5. I plugged in my Cat 6 into here. I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna run another Cat 6 to my computer and uh, see if that improves the speed to uh, to help narrow out if Cat 5e and Cat 6 make a difference. Even though on the website it says that a Cat 5e is acceptable or adequate, but recommended is Cat 6. Uh, I want to show you uh, behind my second fridge is where I had the uh, AT&T technician install this uh, other box. And from the outside, the fiber octet line going into this and it's, it's a coil in here and it's converted to an Ethernet. And um, the technician said that most of the time you never have to um, touch this. So everything we had to troubleshoot from, uh, for us, when we had to reset our modem, is from the modem side, uh, the other box. So this is only for them when they have to come out. You really don't have to do anything with this. At most, is unplug it or plug it back in. This um, data light here will always be flashing because the internet is running. The only time was when you see a red light on the alarm, is when they, you're having a problem with the connection to the house and that's when they will come out and they will mess with this. Um, and this, no, it's not hot or anything. And a lot of clearance and it's out of sight. And so that's where I, I uh, chose to have it installed. The finished setup for my uh, AT&T installation. The, uh, the AT&T modem 
which is this is the model that they are uh, giving out right now is the BGW 210 uh, dash 700 and um, I disabled the wireless on this box because it, they're still using wireless uh, and I have a wireless AC uh, modem a router here so I uh, do a pass through over so I can explain that part if anyone interested but here I have a, a fan to help cool down the router and then I have a, a cooling pad for my router and that's how I always set up this part this is a fairly new setup but um, but yeah overall I'm happy with the installation or the speed I'm more happy with the speed than the installation the installation did took close to four hours for the uh, AT&T technician to complete the job I'll show you the speed that's what everybody do right so uh, let's do this I don't think it's possible to hit that 1,000 download. <laughs> I think uh, AT&T websites say 940. But yeah, this is what I'm getting right now. And if I look at my average here, so it's ranging between close to maybe 800 to 9, 930, 940 at the highest I see. And but my upload is always pretty good. Um, and over here, there's the old desktop um, version. Let's try this one. Oh, right now I'm having a lot of other devices connected too. So, like my uh, my Nest Cam is running too. I know uh, Speed Test website. They start phasing out this old model. They call it the Legacy model now. And if you try the beta one, it will look like this one over here. Okay, so let's say 800, 830, 827. The upload, I usually get 900 plus for the upload, so upload is always good. The download is maybe um, in that area, depending on, um, I guess, when I use it. Uh, okay.